Liam Miller interviewing Josh Alexander about Jake something earning a title shot. Alexander was happy about it, and uh, he was quite complimentary of Jake something, saying, hey, that's how you do it, right? That's how. That's what the exhibition is all about. But then Daivari confronted him about not getting a shot himself. Daivari, who just got pinned by Jake something, uh, was, was mad about not getting the shot. Um, Alexander told him that if they can wrestle next week and, and if uh, Daivari wins, and he'll happily defend it against him too. So uh, we're going to get Alexander and Daivari next week. And so... Um, spoiler, Alexander. I like, I like this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. I like this because Davari is a deluded heel. That's yep. fine for me That's to have it. a losing heel come on. So I need the shot because he's he's a jerk, right? Yeah. He's a bad guy. That works. And what a great baby face Josh Alexander is. Mm-hmm. What a great ba- I mean, like how him and Ethan Page were a tag team for so long when they're so vastly different. I have no <laughs> idea. But he's just he's just hitting on all cylinders. I think he's, I honestly believe he is the best baby face in this company right now. Oh, easily, easily. It, you know, can I, I, I got, I do got to say you brought up Ethan Page. Yes. What a great decision he made by going to AEW and, and it, it worked out for both Page and Alexander. It has. They, I, they're, they were a great tag team and they did great in, in impact. Um, they, unfortunately they just didn't get to wrestle that many teams, but uh, you know, they were the champions for a long time. They really had a chance to shine, but this has been the best thing for Alexander's career. And it's clearly the best thing for Ethan Page's career because he is one of their, you know, he's always featured on those shows, man. And, and they're obviously really impressed by the guy. He actually uh, turned heel on the entire Jacksonville Jaguars team during their practice today. What a great, what a great <laughs> social media segment. Ethan Page, one of my favorite shit heels in mm-hmm. professional wrestling. He is such a smarmy, arrogant dick. I, yep. And he's so good at playing it. Like this is literally like everyone always talks about the Sean and the Marty. Cause that one time a tag team broke up and one guy <laughs> got really successful. So yeah. everybody's got to apply that to every single tag team for the now until the rest of time. It's great to see a tag team split and both of them are succeeding. It's been, it's fun, man. This is so good. So speaking of which, um, after Alexander defeated Black Taurus, he went on social media and ha- they had like a, a, a pre-taped video or whatever. Oh, yes, yes. And he said, hey, look, I've beaten the best from uh, from AAA Taurus. He goes, I've beaten the best from New Japan, El Fantasma. He goes, I've, and I've cleaned out the division here in Impact. You know, AEW, why don't you give me somebody for Bound for Glory? Off the top of your head, who are you thinking? Kenny Omega. There you go. Yeah, same. I, that's, I, I, that's the match. I yeah. don't know if it's, well, okay, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if it's time. I don't know if it's time to take these titles off of Kenny Omega yet, to be quite honest with you. I really don't. I I think, I think he's been great. And I, if they're going to do the match, I want Alexander to win. So yeah, I agree. I agree. So my initial instinct is to go Kenny Omega, but I don't know if I'm ready for Kenny to lose these belts yet. Cause I think when Kenny is, when this run is done for him, he needs to like go away for a while. Right, because if you from lose all like, the shows from everything, he needs yeah. to like go. And from what I gather, he's got a torn labrum, and that's that's a bad injury. So he's he probably does need to go away for a yeah. while. He, but he, he he's pretty yeah, beat up. Yeah, yeah he, he's pretty beat up. So initially, so the the money match for Omega at Bound for Glory, if they can swing it, is Jay White. I think that's the the most commercial success out of those two options. I think the long term, you know, if they put over. Alexander in that spot. I think long term you're going to have a hell of a champion on your hands. I agree. Um, if, if they're a hell ready of a baby to, face, if they're ready to take the title off of Omega, which I would disagree with, do the Josh the Alexander thing, get it over yeah. with. If they're not, if they're going to stretch this out, which again I think they should stretch it out. There's no reason this can't go a year. Who do you want to see from AEW come and wrestle Josh Alexander? Big well, rosters, like a lot of choices. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there's a ton of choices. You know, off top of my head, man. Um, you know, I think it would be cool to bring somebody back that used to be an impact. Hmm. And Ray Phoenix would be a guy that I think that would do great with Josh Alexander. And and for that Pac, who's never been an impact, that I is just, what I was gonna say. I, I just, I just think that those two guys, you know, Pac, two very different matches. But they're they're two of the best in the world. They do that X division style, and you know Phoenix was in Impact before. He's done a lot of X division matches, and I think that the fans would love to see him back. But then you know Pac, who you know one one of the best that I've ever seen, and uh, I, I either one of those guys would be great. That's what I want. I want to see Josh Alexander and Pac. Yeah, 
that man, I just got a little bit of goosebumps <laughs> thinking about that. Right? Match. How awesome yeah. would like that would be that would be a match. That's yeah. one I would like to see. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to will that into existence, speak that into reality. <laughs> Pac, Josh Alexander, bound for glory. Yeah.